Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob, and this is a how-to video for replacing a trailer brake controller on a Ford truck. This has a new part number from what was previously installed in 2015. I've included a link to the product below in the description, so let's get started. We picked up this part from a Ford Genuine Parts dealer. It was pretty pricey. It was $270 from the counter. We don't have an address, so this was really our only option. We just needed to pick it up as we were going through Boston. Here it is. Let's, uh, let's see what's inside. The whole unit. So we'll be able to just unplug and plug the new one in. Much faster doing it with the drill. Radio should just pull out. Like that. Then you got to get this bottom piece off. Okay, so now we get this one loose. Should be able to get it out. Now we can start to get this piece loose finally. So the harness is on the back side here. Along with all the other harnesses, there's a unplug for the four-wheel drive here. And then the plug for this one's on the back side. I already unplugged it though. Okay, so just comparing the two, 
The one on the right is the new one. The one on the left is the original. They actually have different part numbers, which I did read that these were replaced at one point because there was some issues found with them. Part numbers are different. The one on the right, the new one is actually heavier. So I don't know if they beefed up some of the internal parts. I'm guessing maybe something with the slide and the spring is what possibly compromised this one. Uh, much smoother. I, I just checked the uh, miles on the trailer that we're towing and we've got like 12,500 miles. And then we probably towed close to a thousand with our last camper, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, so I guess just over time, it's worn the controller out. Just like that. And I'm gonna plug this plug in on the backside with this portion up. Plug in our voltage meter first. Then we get closer, full drive. You have to lift up the center console portion here to be able to feed this down into its slot. So see how this bottom buckle, the snap needs to go through there. So now before we put this portion back in, let's snap it. Just make sure it's lined up. You can kind of feel it when it gets back in place. Make sure everything's in line where it's supposed to be. This little piece needs to go back in down here. before you push it down in place as well. It all kind of teeths back together. And then just push it down. It's kind of your last chance to wipe up any dusty areas you can't get to uh, when the paneling's in. Okay, so now we can go ahead and close our center console finally. And now we'll have this bottom piece that needs to be screwed back in first. So this is what it looks like. Just gonna go ahead and wipe it down. And it has the two, there's seven. Let's test it out. I think there's seven because I used the ratchet on it.
Now that we got that, we can finally replace our uh, radio stack. Is everything still plugged in? Or did you unplug anything? Uh, I didn't unplug anything, but yeah, that's a good point. It's a good idea to check. Make sure you didn't pull anything loose. There's a couple. Oh, never mind. You're good. Okay. Go ahead. They're all good. Felt like one of them did get pulled loose a little bit. Yeah. it's better to snap this back in place first so I didn't want to go there there we go there's three of them now we can tighten it down doing good on the home stretch some tension under it. Mm. Now to put this back on. Okay, I'm done with that. Now we can go back up, down and put this bracket back on. These are the eight millimeters. because it's got that helpful little bracket. up in place. If you're receiving the message trailer brake module fault, open up the panel below the steering wheel and make sure the harness is plugged in all the way until it clicks. If you previously did not have a trailer brake controller, you will need to turn it on using Forescan or take it to a Ford dealership to have the module turned on in the ECU. Thank you for watching this how-to video. If you liked it, smash down the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching.